Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to do the Bailey's Mint Chocolate Martini. This is going to have a martini glass. And what I've done is I've swirled some chocolate. I, what I, my first thing is put it in the freezer. Left it there for a little while so it would get nice and chilly. Put the chocolate in there, which helped freeze it to the edges, which is kind of nice. That way you don't have it all running all messy and stuff. Um, I'm going to use some mint Bailey's chocolate. This stuff is awesome. If you like, it's kind of like a peppermint Girl Scout cookie, but without peppermint, but with just regular mint. Is it after eights? Is it after eight mint, regular mint? Andy's candies. Andy's candies. Anything like that. If you're a fan of that, you're going to be a fan of this. We're going to use a little vanilla vodka. I am using three olives vanilla vodka. We're going to garnish it with mint. We're going to shake these two ingredients up. We're going to stick them in this little glass here. And since they're not clear, this isn't a clear ingredient. You're not The shaking isn't going to cause any problems. We're going to garnish it with fresh mint. You could use a chocolate stick, or in my case, chocolate syrup swirled along the edges should be fine. And that gives you your mint chocolate chip martini from Bailey's. So let's do that. Ice this up. There we go. Now what we're going to do is two ounces of the Bailey's whoa, mint chocolate, which is a nice healthy dose of awesome. Look at that. It's one of the best ingredients ever. Butterscotch schnapps is right up there. Peach schnapps is right up there. But Bailey's so good. I like to have it with coffee on the weekends. And one half ounce of the vanilla. And this kind of gives it that little extra chocolate nuance that people, I think, are used to having in, like, a milk chocolate. Nobody ever says, oh, that mint chocolate tastes like vanilla. But there's that, that flavor, that lovely flavor. We'll shake that up. Shake it up. And we found a couple different varieties of recipes. I think it was the Garnish Bar. I think this is their name on Twitter. Had a, or is it the bar.com? No, that's where this recipe came from. Um, that had a recipe that used white chocolate. Godiva white chocolate, which also sounds tempting as a liqueur. So we'll pour that right in here on top of our chocolate, which is now frozen to the bottom. Oh, perfect. Nice after dinner beverage. Plus this really styles it up a little bit. A little mint, get our sprigs moving around. There you go. That is the Bailey's Mint Chocolate Martini. Oh, look at that chocolate right there. And some of the chocolate d does run off and makes a nice swirling pattern inside the, the Baileys, which looks really nice. Kind of looks like you almost put chocolate in there, but oh so gently, which with chocolate syrup is not easy to do. It just sinks and makes a big muddy mess. Definitely has the Baileys structure to it, like that coffee-esque chocolatey not too much chocolate this doesn't of course has a little extra in there to really force the issue and the mint is so subtle it's not like a peppermint or like a, a strong mint like a mint liqueur or anything like that a creme de menthe it's not that strong and super sweet it's more of Bailey's with that extra little hint, a little added flavor, but in a in a subtle way, so that so it doesn't overpower and ruin the whole concept of what Bailey's really is. So there you go. That is your Bailey's mint chocolate chip martini. I am your host, Derek Schomer, and we're teaching you how to drink.